Welcome back once again to the Stronic Aurora Rec Complex in Aurora. This is the Midget Championship Final of the Central York Girls Hockey Association. I'm Scott Ferguson along with my partner Anthony Regan, our producer and director Steve Mitchell. Happy you could join us for all the action. This is the last game of the day, the Midget Championship, and we've been promised this is going to be a great one between two hard skating, evenly matched clubs. And from the draw, the gold team has it in control. The Animal Movers Gold have it deep in the red machine zone. Backhand pass in front, cleared away by the Red Machine out over the blue line. The Red Machine coached by Glenn McMillan, the Animal Movers goal, the visitors in this game coached by Kevin Hunter. Anthony, we've had two great games so far. We can only hope this one can match those two for excitement. Well, we were, we were talking to the coaches ahead of time, Scott, and uh, found out that there's 15 to 18 year olds playing in this particular level, the midget level, that's grade tens and to grade 12s and some of the grade 12s this is their final swan song they've been playing throughout the years and these two clubs have pretty much faced each other all the way through the levels of uh, the uh, Central York Girls Hockey Association so tremendous finish for some of these girls. Well, we're looking forward to this one as it unfolds and see what transpires. Ashley Peterson is in goal for the Red Machine. Noelle Rossi just below us to our right is in goal for the Animal Movers goal. Shot down the ice into the gold zone and we get an icing call. Just over a minute here into the first period of this midget championship game. Some of the great 12s that are moving on from the red machine. When we're talking to uh, Steve Kavanaugh, Sonia Peterson and Glenn McMillan about them. Uh, number two, Taylor Alexander. This will be her final game uh, in this, this level, in this league, if you will. Kayla Fleming, number four, and also Drew Duffy, number 15 for the red machine. Bouncing puck, the Red Machine getting it up ice, and they send it down deep into the gold zone, skating back hard to get it for the goals is Yelholt, their associate captain. She's a great skater. Her dad, will be, Adams. Her dad will be glad to hear that. He's the assistant coach. Yeah. <laughs> and it's backhanded down the ice into the red zone, and it's going to come right back on an icing call. In the midget division, there's quite a few uh, teams, so there's some consolation games going on. One just uh, completed between Black and another team called Whiteout. And then there was Team Purple, and my favorite name of the year so far, <laughs> the Green Goons. Green Goons. Yes. Cohen can't clear it for the goals, but her teammate picks it up, backhands it out to the point. The Red Machine keeping it in. 17 for the goal. Sarah Slack getting the puck out and down the ice again. It's not going to quite make the end line, though. So no icing this time. Kaylee Cavanaugh, or actually that's seven, Tiana Hunter who kept it in. She's one of the names we've recognized from years past doing this event. Banked off the boards out towards the point. And again, they'll play two 10-minute stop time periods and then a third period of 12 minutes duration. If it goes beyond that into overtime, we'll have five minutes of four on four play. And if it's still tied, three on three shootout to decide the matter. The last one out, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Been a tremendous day of hockey here at the Sark, as we call this rink in Aurora. Down the ice from the Red Machine. On the backhand there was 10. Catherine Gutzels with the goal, break it up, try to come back Whoa. the other way, but it's picked off. High wrist shot just below us off the glass. Now wheeling behind her net there was Sarah Slack trying to get it out, but can't. Centered in front, Rossi tips it back to the point, the goalkeeper, bouncer, oh, it's still loose. They try to jam it in the short side, but she reaches over the glove and deflects it off to the side with a little help from a defender. Great crowd on hand yet again, Scott. Wonderful to see the, you know, brothers and sisters, parents, aunts, uncles, and grandparents. Nice poke check there by the defender. Shot around the net on the far side. Red Machine trying to get out of their zone, but the defender overskated it. Teammate picked her up and shoots it all the way down the ice where we'll get another icing call. 